I invite you to pray with me now. Dear Heavenly Father, thank you for our sufferings. Really, thank you for them. For all of our sufferings, whether it be sufferings in our circumstances, sufferings at the hands of other people, even sufferings in the middle of life and death, thank you for all of our sufferings because they expose our weaknesses, our lack, and they, they throw our focus onto your strength and your love and the perfection of it all. Give us joy and courage in the middle of our sufferings because in the middle of them, in the middle of our weaknesses, we see you as our true strength. We rejoice in the fact that you have given us eternal joy because eternally we are good with you forever and ever because your son Jesus caused all our sins to go away when he died on the cross. We pray for joy in the middle of all of our sufferings. And we also pray the prayer your son Jesus taught. Our Father in heaven, Hallowed be your name. Your kingdom come, your will be done on earth as in heaven. Give us today our daily bread. Forgive us our sins as we forgive those who sin against us. Lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours, now and forever. Amen. Now it's with great joy that I give you the blessing from God. It's not, a, it's not a maybe blessing, it's a for sure blessing. His face is shining on you. He loves you. The Lord bless you and keep you. The Lord make his face shine on you and be gracious to you. The Lord look on you with favor and give you peace. Amen. It's been a pleasure getting to share God's word with you this morning. I pray God blesses your day and blesses your week, and we will see you again soon as we continue our series going through the book of Philippians. Joy. God be with you all.